Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Corley and today I'm gonna be doing a, I don't know, I don't know how to call it. It's like smoky liner. I've always wanted to do that, but I never did it. So today is the day. We're gonna be doing smoky liner. I'm kind of excited, I'm not gonna lie. I already did my eyebrows and today we're gonna clean up and prime our eyelids using the Eligo Pro Conceal Concealer. Okay, so I'm done with priming my eyelids and I have put concealer all uh, concealer. I have put tape already so I can get a sharp edge because we're doing shadow liner. So I feel like getting a sharp edge is important. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna take my Modern Renaissance by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm gonna start out with Real Gar. Real Gar right here, this shade the orange, and I'm gonna take an angle blur. <laughs> I can't talk today, please forgive me. I'm gonna take an angled brush like this one and I'm just gonna dip into the shade and we're gonna start creating a shadow wing. So, you know, watch and learn. When you create this little part of the shadow wing, you're just gonna go and buff it out. When we have created the shadow wing with the real gar color, so the lighter orange, I'm going to now take the shade Cypress Umber, this one, this really cute shade right here, and it's super, super, super pigmented, so I'm going to keep it very low so it doesn't affect my smoky eye too hard. I just want depth, and I want it to be a darker, a darker brown, you know, darker shade. While I blend Cypress Umber, I'm going to take Real Gar and Burnt Orange, mix them together and just buff it in some more. Okay, so I'm not saying that we're done now, but we're going to take the tape off just so we have an idea of what all of it is going to look like at the end. So as you can see, we look fierce. Okay, okay, fierceness. I see you. So we're just gonna make sure everything is very well blended. We're gonna buff it up, but try not to disrupt the sharp line. I'm gonna buff out. It's all smoky liner, so it looks very sexy. It extends the eye as well. So you know, and it's super easy. I wanted to do something super easy, but yet really pretty and creative. So here we are. We're gonna prime using the Benefit Professional Primer. I just bought this full size one. It's my first full size Benefit Professional. And it was so expensive, you guys. And like, I don't wanna use it because of how expensive it was. And I'm trying to like not waste any of it. I always use very little of the Professional because I don't wanna overdo it. So this was literally the most expensive thing ever. This is for $42, you guys. But it smells so good and it works so well, so I figured, you know what, might as well. It's my favorite. I use it all the time. I keep it in the box just so I can remind myself how much money I spent on this. It's way too expensive. But um, yeah, following along, I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation. And I'm going to put this look at my face. Like so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some Becca Shimmering Skin Perfection just in the high points of my face. I'm already going to apply it just so I can get a certain glow, but I also want the glow to mix with how when I'm going to blend the foundation. I don't know how to explain it, you guys, but so I'm going to wet my sponge a little more and I'm going to blend everything together. I honestly don't know why I put this because I'm going to put concealer on top, so don't do as I say, but you know kind of do. <laughs> so for concealer, I'm going to take the same one I used on my eyes, which is the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer. We're just going to, you know, use it the same way we always do. As you guys can see, my concealer is not 50 shades lighter than my foundation. I don't know. I've been more into the more natural looking concealer recently. I don't know why. I'm not into natural anything, but yeah. Also, you guys, I have news for you. So I'm gonna talk while I blend. I bought the Morphe 35B palette. Oh my God. Uh, I haven't received it yet. It's 
shipping to my house. I think it's supposed to be there like next week. And you guys, I am so excited to create creative, colorful looks because I love creating neutral looks, but I've always wanted to step my game up a little bit. So color is gonna really help me with that. And I'm so excited. I'm gonna take my NYC Smooth Skin Face Powder and I'm just gonna set my under eyes and all the places we highlighted. Um, I'm gonna take my Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Powder. I'm just gonna give everything a very light powdering to give some color back to the skin because as you may or may not know, baking can really take the color off of your face. Gonna make you look a little dull, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna complete the eyes going in with this brush as well as the Modern Renaissance and taking Real Gar. I'm gonna take Real Gar and Burnt Orange mixed together. <laughs> so extra. And then we're just running that on our lower lash oh girl wearing that on the lower lash line like so i'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye we got the lashes applied and truly um, i had a lot of difficulty because recently i've been using my thicker lashes that i found from kiss and they're so much easier because they're less flimsy so i just plop in and they like stick Whereas th these ones are so flimsy and it's been a few days since I've worn them so I wasn't used to it. So we're gonna go ahead and fix it. I have glue all over my eye. I can guarantee you that there will not be any close-up I shot with this because it's just not... It's just not good enough, you know what I'm saying? Today I'm gonna dip into this extremely warm shade right here because I feel like it. <laughs> I'm just, the sun is like, we have no sun whatsoever and we're in full day. I'm gonna tell you what time it is. It's 2.30 and we have no sun. We haven't had sun for the whole day. It was very gray and gloomy, which I personally really don't like. I don't like gray and gloomy, but guess what? Here we are. As you can see, I have a big pimple right here. We're gonna turn this into a mole, but before I'm gonna highlight I don't think I've used this highlighter on my channel before. This is the Physician's Formula Warm Nude Shimmer Strip. I'm going to take a very densely packed brush and I'm going to mix the third row and the first row because these are these are basically the shades I want to have on my face. Before I do my lips, I am going to take the Modern Renaissance palette, a very pointy liner brush. Where are you, baby girl? This liner brush, I'm gonna dip it into Cypress Umber. I'm gonna create a mole because I have a very textured zit on my face. And I don't know how else to correct. I've never corrected a zit with a mole, but we'll see. truly looks like a mole and to make sure that this doesn't look the mo like the most unnatural thing which it really is the most unnatural thing we're just gonna take the powder brush so it looks like we covered it in makeup i learned this technique from desi perkins i'm sorry why was i posing i don't know but i learned this technique from desi perkins she does that all the time whenever she has pimples she has to cover up so you know it looks nice I'm also going to go into my beauty blender where I had a little bit of powder and just dab. Because we want it to be as natural as possible. I'm going to take my Maybelline matte lipstick in the shade Raw Chocolate. And now we're going to create a masterpiece. Oh my god, my lips are so cracked. <laughs> I feel like the shadow liner just makes you look extra professional but also extra sassy and extra fierce. 
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a little thumbs up down below. Also comment in the description box other video suggestions, things you'd like to see me do because I am willing, okay? I will do them for you if you want me to do them for you. Also, don't forget to f follow me on all my social media. What? Why was that weird? Why did I make this? Okay, whatever. Don't forget to follow me on my social media. You can find me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. My Snapchat snap code will be right here so you can screenshot. It's easier to add me. And just because I know it's a pain, you know, writing the names on Snapchat. It takes ages and we are not ready to fight, you know? So also, if you like me, my personality, or the content I put up on YouTube, then feel totally free to subscribe to my channel. I would absolutely love for you to join us. That's all I'm gonna say. And if you subscribe to this channel, you will not miss anything. And you should also click on the bell button right next to that subscribe button because while you're down there, you might just wanna be notified every time I upload a video because I don't know, if I do say so myself, I do make some quality original content. It is your choice. You do whatever you want. I'm just giving good advice. Again, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.